a Ferrari, running through something so hurry. Coming like Abu Bakari, digging your chest like I'm steady. Sin, sin, with the knowledge so old. What would you put in your belly? If you go in him, then open the murder of Delhi. Turn the yellow gap into a bag. Really, ain't shit you can tell me. Just a youngie living low key. Kept getting D low, twisted up with the OD. Sounded just like an OD. Got you pulling out your OE. Welcome to the room, dog. It's like headquarters right here. How many songs y'all think y'all made in this room? Oh. Hey, get this right here. I'm say, when we do make it, this like motherfucker was taking this shit so serious. We had a home studio. I would say like thousands. Thousands of fucking songs. We got shit. We got like so much throwaway material that just ain't got nothing to do with like projects at all. We just got so much shit. We just think it's trash and we just be like, you know, we put that shit just. So y'all working on a project right now? Y'all y'all got something cooking, brewing? Bat so as far as a project? Fat so fat so fat so waiting on that. What's fat so? Gonna edit shit up. Turn the rough drive for my EP. Fat so finna L this shit out. The uncle be the O. You, you know this visualize that. I'm D Lo by the way. Uh, once again it's my dog J Miles. That's T Y tell me honestly. Oh thank y'all man. Hey y'all yeah. Be careful, you gotta watch him. And then of course in the back you got Steve, regular Steve, aka Sean. It's basically if you underdog have a flag and get slept on, people tend to watch those that they might not feel comfortable with saying they idolize or actually authentically like something that they do. You know, one little generation away to say, hey bro, that shirt you got on your tight. I don't even want to know you got it from, I just want to say that on tight. That shit ain't cool, you know what I'm saying? Can't even ask a nigga how his day doing, because he's a nigga, you feel me? Blase, squaze, Just wake up, man. It's time to wake up. I'm T.Y. Stand for Tough Youngster. Been rapping for about like two, two, three years now. Follow me on IG, Tough on the School Youngster. Dropping freestyles all the time. All the latest beats, just cause. I know. When I'm out, shit. <laughs> I guess on the gangster when I do group, shit. I be listening to some Boosie, shit. I know, I throw it back, I be listening to some Tupac, you never know. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, shit, I'm some air wise, some air thing. Yeah, that's and it's my opinion, I don't fuck with no mumble rap with no auto tune. I don't like a lot of the new rap. It ain't dissing nobody, but if you can take it, I can take it. I'm a real rap. So man, me, you better be rapping. So you freestyle? You know how to free, you like you in the freestyle? Yeah, yeah, nah. They yeah, nah. say so more, more you do it, you'll get better. You feel me? Real shit. Like riding the bike. Gotta keep pushing to get places. Keep the routine going. Be, you can give me the new wild goddamn. Spending on the five balls. Deal. Headed on the vibe, if I know I'm finna go out on the crowd, I'll probably throw in some shot day, you know, some old school usher, y'all mean, none of that, I'll listen to you on, you know what I'm saying, fatal pictures in the broken glass type shit, y'all mean, uh, but if I know we finna go out just to plug it, like my dogs will be on some bullshit, probably some paid out, some cheesy, some Gotti, uh, whatever. True story. Just group of trying to get. So how many members part of Sleeperhead? Four, four members. Oh, everybody rap or everybody just play their, you know what I'm saying? Play their select the part and what they do. Everybody got a little artist to them, huh? Yeah, we we are all individual, but at the same time, we've been doing it together for a while, so it come it come as a collective now. Make it more fun. And like you said, shit, it's time to wake up. Shit. He been doing it the longest. Right. I'm probably like the, the alpha in the group when it came to like writing. Shit, I've been doing shit since I was like 14, 15, just hitting studios locally in Tampa. Just trying to do my thing, trying to get my shit out, you know? That real. 
you know what I'm saying? He introduced me to the studio. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Where the, where the first studio were you recorded at? First was stu mm, probably a home studio, honestly. Yeah? Yeah, my homie crib. So we went in that major. We had a little snowball set up with a microphone. Niggas was in there rapping. Shit was probably trash, honestly. Like, niggas wasn't really on it yet. You know, you, you want to rap. You think you can rap, but, you know, not everybody can rap, and that's just the truth. Some people, you know, they master it better than others. Some people can do it better than others, but... Yeah, I think everybody got something to say at the end of the day. Regardless, everybody got a story to tell. And if you want to get deeper in my story, shit, you listen to my music. Honestly, I don't, I don't want to like, classify myself in no drama. Okay. Because I'll probably make some shit that sound like, you'd be like, what type of shit is this nigga making? Like EDM or some crazy shit, and I'm rapping to it. And I just go make some trap shit. Like, it's just all about sometimes the vibe or the energy of the beat, I feel like. A nigga can. So if you're on your way to a party, a kickback, a club, what you listening to? What artists? Shit, I'm listening to some Valet. I'm listening to some juice and gin. <laughs> shit. That shit thumping. Like, I listen to a lot of that, but shit, it could switch up. I could end up going listening to like some old yay on you. Like some college dropout, like some, you know, never let me down. What you listen what you listening to? I listen to everything, honestly. If you're on your way to a party, you're going to turn up, what you listening to? I'm gonna listen to some uh maybe some bankroll, maybe some uh O3 Greedo, he's pretty straight. I like that shit. Uh, it's a couple artists, man, but I turn up to the simplest songs. Like, ain't gotta be no turn up songs. Turn up it down, son. Just to make it all time. All time, yeah, that shit like daily ones. That's what I say. Family members, so amazing. Anything, homies, or whatever. Man, that shit out with me. Because nobody knows when you're going to go. All that fake shit is detrimental to your health. Like, think about the kids, you feel me? Look at how they acting. We out here putting on the same trying to save our kids. And that was all the shit. Like, we leading that way. Like, we looking at us like, damn, I want to be just like that. What the fuck is that? Like, we don't even know what that is. Like, we don't even know what that is. Like, we don't even know what that is. Sometimes you got to say that, you feel me? And at the end of the day, it is what it is. So you get it how you live, cause you gotta live. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit up. Yeah, that shit up. So basically, this whole, this whole, really a whole another positive message behind the acronym and the meaning and the brand of what y'all got going on. That's real. That's the thing too, man. Everything is like symbolism. You know what I'm saying? Images. A picture speaking loud and words, you go back to the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So I said, I don't know what I'm saying. Even non propaganda, you know what I mean? What people see, that's what they're going to perceive. So when you're looking at that screen, and they're sitting up there coming up with the ideas, the theories about it, you make sure that shit correct, because when they come to you, they, they come to you like what they're seeing. You don't set yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit, I said, that shit, you know what you're about. More of the story, stay ten toes, so. Solid. Shout out all my sleepyhead associates.